Hello, and welcome to today's brief 8-minute introduction on oscilloscope music. The cathode ray oscilloscope shows an exact representation of the waveforms of the sound. Left and right audio channels trigger horizontal and vertical deflection of the cathode ray, whereby corresponding lissagous figures are visualized. When generating these waveforms, both their oral and visual aspects are considered, to create a coherent audio-visual composition. Let me demonstrate this for you. As you can see, I created a simple circle. By offsetting two sine waves on both the left and right channels, the oscilloscope is able to graph. But this isn't limited to just sine waves. By using a more complex combination of sine, sawtooth, and square wave patterns, I can create a dancing cube. To change the pitch, all we have to do is make the shapes be drawn faster or slower. So the next question really is, can we create music through Lysagis figures? A man by the name of Jerobeam Fenderson thinks so. And so do I, and Queen Waters, and Hans I. Raber and a whole Reddit community. Want proof? Here's a sample of one of Jerobeam's, that guy I just mentioned, work. But as you all know, my senior project isn't just explaining to you whether something can or cannot be done. Nor is it showing you other people's music. That would not be a project, would it? Throughout the past three weeks, I have been making my way to Philadelphia and meeting up with, the man, the myth, the legnant himself, Quinn Waters. Together, both he and I have been able to create mediocre oscilloscope songs. We met once a week, for three weeks. Discussed what needed to be done and I would work on the projects using tools such as, but not limited to, FL Studio, Audacity, Aussie Studio, Prediscope, Spiral Generator, and a collection of VSTs rooted into FL Studio. Here is a sample of a track we finished. To see more, visit my new YouTube channel named Walk On. Now since we've completed around 4 minutes of this 8 minute presentation, I would like to explain what it was like most days of the week. On a good day, my software would only crash 3 to 4 times. On bad days, nothing would work. Most of the software I had to use is buggy and brand new. There is no quality control by some big company. It is all made by enthusiasts like me and Hopefully now, you, the second track I am about to show you incorporates the use of 808s and a figure played as a melody. This was created using VSTs and was generated in FL Studio.
Hmm. I guess we only have one minute left. Let's use this time to explain some more difficulties. After all, what's the fun in accomplishing something without it being a long, hard, dark, road to victory? As you can probably hear, it was very hard to mix the songs because volume equals the size of the figure. Did I forget to say that? Oops, never mind mastering. The songs had to sound the way they did for you to see them the way they were intended to be seen. So can we make oscilloscope music? Yes. Does this really work? Yes. Do I like cheese? Yes. Thank you for taking the time to watch this without falling completely asleep. Here is a heart just for you. Thank <laughs> you.